My name's Quinn Failing, and I'm a soccer player. Some themes that make me unique, that'll relate to Survivor, is that I have heart that nobody else here has. Keenan Brown, though, is about half the heart I have. Some passions of mine are curling, sightseeing, I love nature. I'm a real big fan of nature, everything green, it's just, it's beautiful. To be honest, I didn't know the game that well. Jack asked me to join, I thought it'd be fun, and I looked it up, and it's gonna be a good time. My strategy is deception. This game is 100% about deception, and that's why I'm gonna win, because I have the ability to deceive. I think my friends would describe my personality as a little eccentric, but lovable and caring, yet deep and understanding, while at the same time fun and adventurous. I'd say my only weakness is that I have too much strength, and that could end up costing me. I might be too strong for my own good, but we'll see. The reason I chose to play is because I saw it as a new challenge, one that I can easily conquer, and I just wanted to show to the world, especially Keenan Brownlow, that I am the next survivor. So the type of people I work well with is someone that's honest and that's actually loyal. So that's why Keenan Brownlow is gonna get me through this game. Me and him will have a strong alliance. To be honest, I don't think I know that I'm gonna win this. And yes, I'm very excited to play, just cause that feeling at the end, once I look at all those people that I played with and I knocked out round by round, I'm just gonna look. I'm gonna give a little grin, I'm gonna wink at the camera, and I'm gonna say goodnight. So far, the only person that I've really thought about building an alliance with is Keenan Brownlow. But I've been I've been thinking about some others. McKenna Mortensen could be a good good option. She might be loyal, or she might who knows, she might be a backstabbing hoe. But Keenan for sure, and then I'm looking for one to two others. A four-person alliance would be strong and would get us through the whole game. To be honest, I'm targeting the weak, so I'm gonna go with the juniors first. Juniors out, and then we're gonna slowly trickle through the seniors. Maybe throw out, I don't know, someone like Nathan Moore could go out early. I've already talked to Keenan about building an alliance. I also asked Kenna, and she said she'd be down. I just, I'm still not sure if I can trust her, but so far, those, those two. So the first person I'm gonna vote out is Veronica Shin. The reason I chose Veronica mostly is, I don't know, I feel like she's gonna go within the first three rounds, so we might as well just get her out first. She's the weakest link. Pretty sure she's on my tribe. Can't have weak links on the tribe, no offense. But yeah, Veronica, I'm sorry, but goodbye. I don't really know this game, but I'm just trying to figure out how to play. I wanna align with Carter and then Kanan. Because Carter played last year and Keenan played last year and they can help me out. I'm gonna try to target like like Anne Marie and Veronica and those girls because they haven't played so maybe it's easy. Well I don't really know how to play so I think that's gonna be kind of hard at first but yeah we'll figure it out. I chose to play because it looked fun and like it just I've like I don't know. It looked fun. I work well with like smarter people who can figure out like how to do this stuff because then they can teach me because I won't know how to do it. I'm hoping that I do well because that would be cool and I want to keep playing and I'm really excited to play. I think it'll be fun. So my friends describe me as like funny so hopefully they'll want to keep me around at the game. So I have not done any pre-game games. I haven't talked to anyone so we gotta figure that out. I cast my pregame vote for Hannah because I don't really like talk to her that much and I don't really know if she knows how the game works, so I don't know. My name's Austin Higgs. Um, I'm currently unemployed and uh, I like to go to 24 and play basketball and lift weights. I think I'm generally a pretty likable guy, so I'll be able to get on people's good sides and I think that can promote my game a little bit. Uh, I like to play basketball, hang out with friends. Go to the gym, lift weights. I don't think I know the game too well. I've never watched an episode of Survivor or Surviving Kenmore, so um, this could be interesting. But I've talked to a lot of people that have played, so I think I know what I'm gonna do. Me and Carter have been talking about teaming up, and uh, he won a season a couple months ago, so I think if I just kind of follow him, I'll, I'll have a pretty good game. My friends would describe me as funny, um, outgoing, likable, um, re 
repeatable. I'm not the best liar sometimes. So if I'm trying to double cross somebody, it might be pretty noticeable. Another weakness is this finger. Um, I had an ingrown fingernail and it got infected. Had surgery and lost my fingernail. So that might affect my game a little bit. I heard there was a pretty big sum of money involved uh, for the winner. And uh, I heard it's a lot of fun. So I'm excited to play. Uh, I work well with people that think like me and uh, have the same goals as me. And I don't work well with people that like to argue. I don't like that. I think I'll do pretty well considering me and Carter already have um, a little bit of game plan um, and he won. So that helps. I'm excited to play. Um, I heard it's a lot of fun. Uh, I plan on aligning with Carter. I don't know. Um, much about the other people and how well they play, but Carter's told me that he's uh, he's pretty good. So I'm targeting the underclassmen, the juniors, going down for sure. Key and Portugal is my probably my number one, and then uh, the four girls. Those try to get those eliminated first. I cast my pregame vote for uh, Key and Portugal because I think um, he he's gonna act as kind of the leader as the underclassmen since I'm targeting them probably be a good idea to get him out first so yeah my name is Mia Anderson and I'm a volleyball player everyone thinks I'm a really nice person so I think that people will get along with me pretty well in the game and won't like expect much of me or like suspect anything honestly I've never seen the game before don't know the game at all um, so yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Maybe I'll watch a few clips of the game before <laughs> trying to figure it out, but as of now, I have no clue. My friends would describe me as really nice, a weakness of mine, um, maybe like physical strength, I'm not that strong, if that might go into some of the competitions. Carter Bennett asked me if I was playing and then Hannah like offered for me to play, so <laughs> I decided to play. Well, for the game, I think I'm just gonna try to work with the people that are doing the best and like are winning the most competitions. Um, I'm gonna try to stay away from sneaky people. <laughs> Honestly, since this is my first time playing, I don't think I'm gonna win the whole thing, but I think I'll get pretty far. And yeah, I'm really excited to play. I want to align, or I've already aligned with Anne Marie. Um, yeah, that's it for now, I guess. Anne Marie and I have already planned to target Hannah. I think Hannah would be easy because um, she thinks that we have her backs and um, she'll be easy to get out quick. I cast my pregame vote for Hannah because as of right now she trusts me and Anne Marie and she'll be very easy to get out pretty quickly. My name is Keenan Brownlow and I play lacrosse. Compared to the other people playing I'm pretty athletic so I think that'll help with certain challenges but not all. I just like sports in general and music. I don't really watch much Survivor on TV, but I have played before, so um, I have more experience and knowledge than most people out here. Um, I'm going to try and emulate Elijah Weiss from a season ago. I think he caught a bad break with the first vote. Um, I think he really had something cooking there, but I guess we'll just never know what was going to happen. My friends would describe me as pretty sassy. They might say I'm a challenge threat, I guess. At this point, I'm sort of going to have a target on my back because I've played before so I know what I'm doing and I'll probably end up winning a challenge or two at some point. So people might sort of see me as like, um, they might want to get me out quick so I don't linger linger along and end up winning or something. This is my revenge tour for last season. I think for this season I'm going to try and take more of a leadership role because not very many people have much experience so I think people are going to sort of look towards me. To, for what to do, so I think in this case I won't work very well with other leaders, leader types, people who like to call the shots, um, so I guess people who are more just passive, um, just sort of looking for a plan to follow. I think I'm in a really good spot right now in terms of um, possible like possible alliances and just people I can work with, so I think I have a really good shot of going far into the game. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think that I'll definitely end up aligning with Nathan Moore because he's a real trustworthy guy. I think I'll probably end up working with Quinn because he's kind of an idiot. He's kind of an idiot and he needs someone to follow. Um, 
and then I get, I'll probably end up working with my sister and her friends just because um, I would trust my sister and her friends sort of just to follow what I do just because they don't have much experience with the game and um, I can sort of carry them along hopefully towards the end and then I, like, I don't really see any of them beating me like head to head if it gets to the final two or something so that might come into play but yeah those are the main people I'll probably end up working uh, my sister is Amory Brownwell. Her friends are Mia, Hannah, and Veronica. I'm going to be targeting um, Carter Bennett because he's one of the few other people in the game that has um, experience playing. So I think that his strategies and his um, game planning will be much more advanced than the rest of the people out here. So he's sort of like a top threat. So I'm going to try and target him. I've talked to Nathan briefly. Just saying that uh, we both said that we were interested in working with each other. Same deal with Quinn, but I haven't really um, tried to form any super strong alliances at this point. So last season, um, the plan was for me, Fitz, Kobe, and Cooper. Um, our goal was to make it to the end Final Four. However, things sort of got muddied up during troubles and everything. So that alliance ended up falling through, and Kobe and Cooper ended up turning against me. Mostly Cooper, because he was really playing both sides during the vote that I got out. So I guess just trusting my older alliances too much um, was sort of my downfall. I think this time I'll be more wary, um, especially if I pregame in the future, and then I end up not being in the same tribe as those people I'm playing on a, or an aligning with because things can get messy before you get to the merge.